Hey, what is up YouTube? Welcome back to another video of Tony Blends. I know you guys seen the intro, shooting all my shots and missing each and every single one of them. Basically, to give you guys a little intro. So today I am going to be giving my friend a drop fade, something similar to like a low fade. I apologize for the inconsistency. I know it's it's been tough. Although we're in quarantine, I do have a lot more spare time to be working on videos. But the thing is, I am still a 17 year old, so I got school. I still gotta focus on my main priority, which is graduating. I have to finish up my assignments. We are finishing up the, the final quarter, quarter four at my school. I thank you guys for understanding. If you guys like this video, please make sure to hit the like button and hit the notification bell down below. Yeah, let go, let's get to it. So guys, to get started with the haircut, the first thing we are going to do is set the hair in place. So we are using our comb, make sure to put all the hair down. And here we are coming in with the trimmers. You are going to start your first bald guideline. You have to make this as neat as possible so that your fade could come out super clean. So here you can see me going all around the head. Sometimes I do this to ensure that I will cut every hair, make sure that the line is super neat. And I will just go and hit it about a couple, three times just to make sure that everything is nice. And, and exactly like the other side, we are gonna do the same exact thing on this side. So we're just gonna create that drop fade effect. All you have to do is just curve the line around your client's ears. This gives it that illusion of that drop fade. Coming in with my wall shavers, I will now start uh, to shave and balding out that line. Make sure you get into every spot and also leave half an inch before you hit that top line because you do not want to create a guideline or a line that will be hard to take out eventually in the future. So here I am coming in with my wall magic clips lever all the way open going up about half an inch using the flick out motion and we are going to do this all around the head going around it contouring it making sure that everything is symmetrical. A tip that I give to you guys is that sometimes there will be harder places to reach like right here I'm using the corner of the blade and use this when there's ever like hard places to reach this really gives you like a an advantage or it gives you a better idea of how you can curve the fade as I am doing here lever up to the middle I will now start to attack that first guideline using the corner of my blade in the middle you know playing with the lever moving it up hitting the first line to take away that first guideline you're gonna want to use the lever all the way down but for this instance I'm using it in the middle kind of work my way down to up So like I had said in the previous part, use your corners. This will definitely help you. Do not use the full blade in tight areas. This will only cause you to mess up in a part where you do not want to mess up in. And to show you guys a better idea, here I have started with the lever all the way closed. Gradually going up, pretend there are five steps to the fade slowly go up as you see here i'm slowly slowly going up with a lever each time gradually going up about 25 percent and as you guys can see here you guys will start to see the fade come in motion So here now I am using the number three guard. This is to remove a little bit of the bulk from the top just so that I can have a clear picture of what I am trying to fade into. So this will create the 
top of the haircut and what you are going to be fading into so this is the number three with the lever all the way open and you guys are gonna see that line but it's technically not a guideline So coming in with my zero guard or the 116, I will now do the same steps as I did with the lever all the way open. So we're going up about half an inch and we are going to be flicking out in the same motion, trying to create the same, go in the same direction as we did before. Don't be afraid of going back into your haircut about a couple times. Kind of repeat the same steps. This is what you're going to need to know because you can't just go in there once and expect it to be all cleared up. The machine is constantly moving so you won't cut all the hairs at once. But going in there probably a couple, two to three times and repeat in the same motion will most definitely take care of that. And then here with my lever halfway, I will now start to attack that line that I made. So we are using the same, same steps as before. We are going in slowly and gradually going up with my lever so that I can remove the 116th guideline. And you can kind of see some dark spots there. So I go back in there and I remove them with my corners. So now I have started to go in there with my number one guard all the way open and now here you can see me going in with the lever halfway. This is to remove that next guideline that I have created with the number one guard. So yeah, always use your corners. This will guarantee you one of the picture perfect fades. This gets you in like a tighter area. This helps you remove lines that you do not want to make. So as I did to the other side, I'm going to do to this side also using the same steps so this is lever all the way open making sure i'm going in there creating a good and symmetrical line similar to the other i know you can't see the other side and i know it's hard but that's why at the beginning of the hair cut you should always make sure that the lines are even make sure and stand in front of your client make sure that both lines are even So here I am going in my, with my wall 1919 seniors going up about half an inch to an inch flicking out using the same motion as I did before. This is the same steps on repeat. So if you guys need a video for me to clarify how I actually do the steps or how do you remove a line, which is one of the things that I had trouble starting off with when I first started, I can make a separate video on that i will also be sure to create a video of how to make the design as i also did in a recent video that i did so if you guys have any suggestions or anything that i should do please let me know and leave it down in the comment section down below 
also guys do not forget to hit that subscribe button down below i will be posting every single week and this is only to show you guys that i am dedicated to my craft 2020 this is the year that i have now started to pay more attention to my craft so please go and hit that subscribe button go and hit the like button down below this only motivates me to put out more videos for you guys this is free game i am not gaining any money from this at all this is all free game so please if you guys can do me a favor and go subscribe and hit that like button it will do me a big favor thank you guys so now with my number two guard i will go up about another half an inch this will reassure me to remove the bulk that is already at the top so we want to do this all over the head be sure and go back hit every single hair because you will not take them out in the first try so go back make sure you do cut that spot As the video is coming closer to an end i wanted to tell you guys that i did not get to record the full length of this video but i will be showing you guys the lineup for the c cup and then i will show you guys the end result of the haircut so all i did before that was i did clipper over comb so this just took out the top hairs so that it can blend in with the top of the head and here i am going in with the gamma trimmers this will make sure that your c cups will be as straight as possible and yeah thank you guys for watching my video